Kannada Sanskrit, Kannada Iast, Kannada, also known as Kashyapa, Aluka, Kananda and Kanabuk, was an ancient Indian natural scientist and philosopher who founded the Vaisheshika school of Indian philosophy, estimated to have lived sometime between 6th century to 2nd century BCE. Little is known about his life. His traditional name, Kannada, means Adam Eater. And he is known for developing the foundations of an atomistic naturalism Indian philosophy in the Sanskrit text Vaisheshika Sutra. His text is also known as Kannada Sutras, or Aphorisms of Kannada. The school founded by Kannada attempted to explain the creation and existence of the universe by proposing an atomistic theory, applying logic and realism, and is among one of the earliest known systematic realist ontology in human history. Kannada suggested that everything can be subdivided, but this subdivision cannot go on forever, and there must be smallest entities parmanu that cannot be divided, that are eternal, that aggregate in different ways to yield complex substances and bodies with unique identity, a process that involves heat, and this is the basis for all material existence. He used these ideas with the concept of Atman soul, self, to develop a non-theistic means to moksha. Kannada's ideas were influential on other schools of Hinduism, and over its history became closely associated with the Naya school of Hindu philosophy. Kannada's system speaks of six properties that are nameable and knowable. He claims that these are sufficient to describe everything in the universe, including observers. These six categories are dravya, substance, guna, quality, karman, motion, samanya, universal, visesa, particular, and samavaya, inherence. There are nine classes of substances dravya, some of which are atomic, some non-atomic, and others that are all pervasive. Kannada was influential in Indian philosophies, and he appears in various texts by alternate names such as Kashyapa, Aluka, Kananda, Kanabuk among others. In Jainism literature, he is affectionately referred to as Sat Aluka, which means, the Aluka who propounded the doctrine of six categories. His Vaisheshika philosophy similarly appears with alternate names, such as Alukya philosophy, derived from the nickname Aluka, literally owl, or grain eater in the night. The ideas of Kannada span a wide range of fields, and they influenced not only philosophy, but possibly scholars in other fields, such as Charaka, who wrote a medical text that has survived as Charaka Samhita. Topic. Date The century in which Kannada lived is unclear and have been a subject of a long debate. In his review of 1961, Reap states Kannada lived sometime before 300 CE, but convincing evidence to firmly put him in a certain century remains elusive. The Vaisheshika Sutras mention competing schools of Indian philosophy such as Samkhya and Mimamsa, but make no mention of Buddhism, which has led scholars in more recent publications to posit estimates of 6th to 2nd century BCE. The Vaisheshika Sutra's manuscript has survived into the modern era in multiple versions and the discovery of newer manuscripts in different parts of India by Thakur in 1957 and Jambavijayaji in 1961, followed by critical edition studies, suggest that the text attributed to Kannada was systematized and finalized sometime between 200 BCE and the start of the Common Era, with the possibility that its key doctrines may be much older. Multiple Hindu texts dated to the 1st and 2nd century CE, such as the Mahavibhasa and Nyanaprasthana from the Kushan Empire, quote and comment on Kannada's doctrines. His ideas are also mentioned in Buddhist texts attributed to Asvaosa of the same period. Topic. Ideas Kannada begins his famed sutras by defining dharma as that which brings about material progress and highest good. He follows this sutra with another that asserts that the Vedas have gained respect because they teach such dharma, and something is not dharma simply because it is in the Vedas. Kannada and early Vaisheshika scholars were non-theistic. However, this was not unusual for his time since several major early versions of Hindu philosophies such as Samkhya, Naya, Mimamsa along with sub-schools of Yoga and Vedanta, as well as non-Vedic schools such as Jainism and Buddhism, were similarly non-theistic. Kannada was among the sages of India who believed in man's potential to understand existence and reach moksha on his own, without God, a notion of ancient Indians summarized by Nietzsche as the belief that with piety and knowledge of the Veda, nothing is impossible. Topic. Observations and theories 
In the fifth chapter of Vaisheshika Sutra, Kannada mentions various empirical observations and natural phenomena such as the falling of objects to ground, rising of fire and heat upwards, the growth of grass upwards, the nature of rainfall and thunderstorms, the flow of liquids, the movement towards a magnet among many others, asks why these things happen, then attempts to integrate his observations with his theories on atoms, molecules and their interaction. He classifies observed events into two, those caused by volition, and those caused by subject-object conjunctions. The concept of a new atom Kanata came up with the idea that paramanu atom was an indestructible particle of matter. The atom is indivisible because it is a state at which no measurement can be attributed. He used invariance arguments to determine properties of the atoms. He also stated that Anu can have two states absolute rest and a state of motion. Adherents of the school of philosophy founded by Kanata considered the atom to be indestructible, and hence eternal. They believed atoms to be minute objects invisible to the naked eye which come into being and vanish in an instant. Vaisashikas further held that atoms of same substance combined with each other to produce divyanuka diatomic molecules and triyanuka. Triatomic molecules. Kanata also put forward the idea that atoms could be combined in various ways to produce chemical changes in presence of other factors such as heat. He gave blackening of earthen pot and ripening of fruit as examples of this phenomenon. Kanata postulated four different kinds of atoms, two with mass, and two without. Each substance is supposed to consist of all the four atoms. Kanata's conception of the atom was likely independent from the similar concept among the ancient Greeks, because of the differences between the theories. For example, Kanata suggested that atoms as building blocks differ both qualitatively and quantitatively, while Greeks suggested that atoms differed only quantitatively but not qualitatively. See also Timeline of atomic and subatomic physics List of Indian inventions and discoveries Aryabhata Topic. Notes Topic. References Topic. Bibliography Janine D. Fowler 2002. Perspectives of Reality – An Introduction to the Philosophy of Hinduism. Sussex Academic Press. ISBN 978-1-898723-93-6. H. Majino, 2012. Physics and Philosophy, Selected Essays. Springer Science. ISBN 978-94-009-9845-2. Bimal Krishna Matilal, 1977. Naya Vicesika. Otto Harisovitz Verlag. ISBN 978-3-447-01807-4. K.A.K., Subhash, 2016. Matter and Mind, The Vicesika Sutra of Kannada ISBN 9781988207242 Reap, Dale Maurice Naturalistic Tradition in Indian Thought. Mudalal Banarsidas ISBN 978-81-208-1293-2. Bart Labashanya, Timo Sloot Wegg. Hegel's Philosophy of the Historical Religions. Brill Academic. ISBN 90 04 22618 4. Sharma, Chandradar. A Critical Survey of Indian Philosophy. Mudalal Banarsidas. ISBN 978 81 208 0365 7. External links Early Atomism, Resonance Magazine, October 2010 The Development of the Concept of Atoms and Molecules, Resonance Magazine, December 2011 Scientists of India by Dilip M. Salwi, Children's Book Trust, ISBN 81-7011-318-0, 2007